Okay, welcome everyone uh, to the teaching and learning call. This is Wednesday, May 18th, 2016. And um, our main agenda topic today is reviewing some of the teaching and related, teaching and learning related sessions at the conference next week. So thanks to all of you for joining us. And um, before we launch into that topic, uh, I wonder if anybody has any project updates or announcements they want to share. Oh, Dave, I'm sorry, you're not going to be there. Wow, that's a shame. So I know that uh, in Neil's absence, I will do a probably a poor job of um, updating folks on activities that have been going on in other groups. Uh, the QA planning and testers um, have really been working super hard to get JIRAs uh, identified and test fixed and tested. Um, so thanks to all the people involved in that effort, and it's been huge. And, I'm, you know, we have a great community. Um, it's kind of unbelievable, really, to see how the commitment from everyone to, to make the Sakai 11 release uh, a, a reality. Yes, and the triage sessions have gone well, Dave. Thanks for mentioning it. Um, and Louisa has posted the link to the uh, video that Kyle Blythe and uh, the NYU folks put together. Uh, she put that there in the chat. And if you guys have not seen that, you really need to. It is awesome. Um, and, you know, share it at your own institution. Yes, it is. It really is. And um, very nicely done. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what else. The marketing group has also been um, doing a lot of work. I know Neil and the web uh, developers, the web masters for Sakai have been working on that redesign. And I know Kyle Blythe also had a lot of input into that design and, and I, he's not on the call at the moment, but um, thanks to all of them for that effort. Um, we've gotten some good user stories to include from a couple of folks. And any of you who are um, who want to contribute user stories from your schools uh, and would like some guidance on a format for that, yeah. Um, I wonder, Matt Burgess, can I lean on you to um, Reach out to Dave with an example, a uh, couple of examples that have been contributed so far. Sure, I'm I'm happy to do that, Dave. I will email you off list, and if anybody else is interested in that, I have a user story that Tricia and I put together for UVA, and I also have access to one that Adam Marshall has put together for Oxford. So anybody else who's interested in that, just uh, let me know. I'll put my email address in the chat, feel free to send me a message, and Dave, I'll get in touch with you. Thank you, Matt. I really appreciate that. Be super helpful. So yes, any others, please um, chime in in the chat or reach out to Matt um, directly about that. That would be wonderful. Um, and he can give you examples so, um, so you can get an idea of the you know, kind of thing that you might put together for that. Um, and, you know, it's not like you only have this opportunity. These could come in at any time. So, um, because we'll always want to keep that site fresh and um, uh, have user stories from as many institutions as possible to um, let people out there in the world know what a vibrant and active community we are. So, um, Appreciate your contributions to that. Uh, I can't think of any other uh, updates. Does anybody else have any? I'm sure there are some, but uh, obviously the conference next week is looming large for all of us, for most of us anyway. And uh, 
So let, and I do not have a JIRA of the week this prepared to discuss. So I think we'll go ahead and launch into the teaching and learning related sessions at the conference. And I have this really long gnarly URL, which is the list view of the um, schedule at the conference. And I've gone through, and I'm, I'm only looking at Tuesdays and Wednesday sessions. Um, I skipped the pre-conference workshops on Sunday and Open Summit on Monday isn't really, uh, there, there are some things on that agenda, but um, actually there are some teaching and learning things. So I, I didn't cover those, but um, we certainly could. Oh, no, there aren't, actually. It just says Open Summit. So uh, how about if we just start with Tuesday? And if you're going down that list, I count in, you know, my counts may be off. Yes, Louisa, please, please, please. That would be great. Louisa wants to give a list of the Atlas sessions, and there are six of those. So go, go right ahead. So, Louisa, are you going to um, come on the mic and talk about those, or in the chat? Okay. So, there are six, and we're going to cover. Oh, you just say I'm Sorry, I missed it. <laughs> it scrolled off my chat screen. Right. So, these are all nicely spread out on Tuesday. There's. Um, one, two, three winners, uh, presentations, one at 10.45, one at 2, and one at 3. And on Wednesday, there's an honorable mention at 10.45. And a box. Is that right, Louisa? Is that all of them? Okay. Thanks for mentioning those. They, they were on my list but um, I'm glad you kind of put them all together there. That's, that's helpful. So other sessions uh, at 1045 on Tuesday include the Teaching and Learning uh, Birds of a Feather session. Um, Matt and I and Neil uh, will be leading that discussion um, to talk about things that are going well, things that, are, that we might want to improve in these calls. Um, Etc. So come with ideas of um, things you would like to talk about in that session if you're planning to attend. And you know, sadly, <laughs> a lot of ways, a lot of our sessions for teaching and learning overlap. So we can't go to all of them. And uh, so hopefully, um, there will be enough of a distribution of us at at all of these sessions to um, come back and share. Um, after the conference. And I've got the Atlas winner. Um, and that was a Zerdi project, which is kind of cool. So um, that'll be interesting. Um, I wasn't sure about, there's a session at 1045 called Content Pack, Short Engaging Multimedia Modules in Sakai. I assume that has a teaching and learning um, Scope to it. And if any of you are, yeah, we do want to expand to include more Zerdi and open, open cast sessions. So that's um, it's great. There are there are a few on the agenda, so that is great. And if any of you want to come online, if you're on the call and you're leading any of these sessions and want to describe them in more detail, I encourage you to do that. Um, I don't want to be the only one talking here, and it could get really boring if I'm just reading these off. So um, uh, please chat or come on the mic and flesh these out. Uh, there's State of the Aperio Learning Analytics Initiative. I I think that has a teaching and learning um, component. You know, definitely um, there will be interest in the teaching and learning community around analytics. And 
Let's see, Duncan Smith at University of West Cape is delivering a presentation on the design development and implementation of an in-house SRS to enhance the teaching and learning experience. So it's a case study. Um, and I'm not sure what SRS stands for. Does anybody else know? Well, if we attend that session, you saw SRS. What is it? Didn't know. Oh, okay. Student response system. Thank you, Becky. Gotcha. So then at 11.45, there were a lot of interesting ones, some for marketing, others around analytics. Um, let's see. There's a session um, from Carla. Gresler Gomez at Texas State on um, do faculty opinions matter in LMS integrations of publisher content and third party tools. So that should be interesting. Um, another ad analytics one, um, Zhao Jing Duan from University of Notre Dame and Patrick Miller also from Notre Dame will be talking about ePortfolio uh, integrations in the LMS and multimedia analytics. So that that would be a good one. Anybody from either of those schools want to chime in more about this? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay, I'm not sure if, some, if that's somebody trying to chime in, but Okay, so I think we have a caller, uh, somebody who called in, and you might want to mute your mic because I'm getting a lot picking up some background noise. Uh, let's see, we have a um, presentation by Adam Marshall. Let's see Adam on our call today uh, on the new state of plagiarism in Sakai uh, at 11.45 on Tuesday. Then at 2 o'clock, as Louisa mentioned, the, there's another Atlas winter, winner um, presenting on a blended learning approach to teaching introductory statistics through Sakai. And at 2 o'clock, there's another session. And if there's sessions I'm missing, uh, please chime in. Uh, let's see, uh, Josh Barron and uh, a host of other folks are going to be talking about Sakai 11 and beyond, and I'm sure there will be some teaching and learning aspects to that topic. That should be interesting. And um, J.P. Borm at NYU and Imani McRae, Byron Ramirez will be talking about turning LMS limits into strengths, repurposing forums and chat rooms. That could be very interesting. And right, Louisa. Oh, you're not sure if Josh will be there. Oh, because he's in a new position now. Okay, got it. I'm, I'm assuming that other folks will um, take up that lead then. Okay, well, we'll hope to see him at the Open Summit. That's great. Uh, let's see. Using custom lessons CSS to make neat courses. Paul Dagnall at University of Dayton is going to be talking about that at 2 o'clock on Tuesday as well. So there's a wide variety of topics. Um, and I want to see all of them. That's my problem. Uh, 3 o'clock, we have another Atlas winner talking about using psychology and game elements to improve student engagement in forums. Love to see that. Um, and the emerging next generation digital learning env environments, uh, Paul Hibbets at Simon Fraser University, um, Brian Allendike, Pennsylvania State, and Chuck Severance at University of Michigan are going to be um, speaking about that topic, which is a pretty hot topic these days. 
all of us. That's at three o'clock as well. The future of the forms tool is uh, Kyle Blythe at NYU and Jeff Pash are going to be talking about that um, at three o'clock. Um, and Wilma Hodges is going to, and Dee Dee, Louisa, and Francesca Sokolik at NYU are going to be talking about UX testing, and, and that's, you know, sort of related to teaching and learning. And another analytics uh, session um, delivered by Steve Cody at Unicom, Gary Gilbert, and Sandeep Jayaprakash at Maris. We'll be talking about um, what's new in a PERIO um, learning analytics initiative. And on Tuesday afternoon at 4.15, there are going to be lightning talks, several of which will be around uh, teaching and learning. As well as a session on you must unlearn what you have learned and other lessons we take from Star Wars and Star Trek in support of faculty. And that is um, Sean Baker and Eric Hansen and Dinah Kurzweil at USUHS. So I know Dinah's on the call. Um, Dinah, are you on a mic that you could tell us a little bit more about your session? Hi, everyone. Yeah, I am. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Great. Um, so we're really looking at trying to take um, the time to have people talk about uh, techniques and motivations as well as some of our best practices. And we're using um, Star Trek and Star Wars famous quotes to kind of key off the conversations. I love it. Um, as, as part of our approach here. So um, we're looking at the both um, best practices and, and some of the stumbling blocks um, that people find um, and what we've learned about working with faculty, how we navigate faculty spaces and policies, um, and really trying to share and, and gain some knowledge from one another, looking at each other's space, um, our own um, institutions and our policies, and, and trying to, to gain some insights um, even, you know, gain some, some new friends um, and develop maybe um, some partners to help us learn from one another. That sounds great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It should be great. Um, I'm going to go back to the chat here. Uh, Louisa, I wasn't looking at the chat while I was going through the list, um, but I see you've put in some comments about the UX testing uh, Louisa says, we will have hands -on, a hands-on session to talk about how to create UX testing scripts. Oh, that's great. And then immediately go on to the next session to do real UX testing. Ah, and um, that's great. Um, Louisa also has a question about the lightning talks. How are the topics submitted this year? Previously, we submitted the topics the date before in the conference. You know, Louisa, I'm not really sure. Does anybody else know? I am not sure how those were submitted and if – I know there's already a, a list of some of them and, and there may be opportunities to uh, submit additional topics. So um, it does look like the time slot – are pretty well um, used up. It looks like it's a five to ten minute um, talk or seven minutes, something like that. <laughs> uh, and it looks like all the time slots are filled. So it it may be uh, unless unless somebody um, is not able to be there. So I would just check in um, once you get there and, and talk to the folks. About um, about that. 
But when I'm looking at the schedule right now, that whole block of time for the lightning talks looks like it's been filled. A good question. All right, Wednesday, obviously the general session at 9 a.m. Uh, there is a session on the new grade book tool for Sakai 11 and uh, Kyle Slice and Jeff Pash will be leading that session. Um, Leonardo Canessa at University of Dayton and Julianne Morgan are going to be talking about their attendance, attendance tool. And these are all at 1045. Um, there's another, there's the Atlas Honorable Mention uh, session on integration of streaming media and peer review to engage students online. So those all look good. Uh, that we also have um, Stella Herbs from Pepperdine is going to be presenting on from traditional to technological transforming an instructional design course using Sakai. Oh, that should be good. Uh, Gary Gilbert at Unicon and Kate Valenti at Unicon um, have a session on is your institution ready for open learning analytics? So again, that, that, that definitely has a teaching and learning scope to it, I think. And let's see, there's also Glenda Cox at the University of Cape Town and Aditi Humna, also from University of Cape Town. We're going to be presenting on technology innovation in teaching humanities using Sakai. So I'd be interested to see that. And of course, I might be skipping some that are related. And if you notice any um, and want to point them out, please do. At 11.45 on Wednesday, um, Witten Smart at Texas State is going to be talking about getting the maximum out of your data. Interactive analytics reporting. Uh, and Brian Olendyke from Pennsylvania and Chuck Severance from University of Michigan are going to be talking about implementing the next generation digital learning environment. So that um, will be good. Padraig Highland from University of Limerick is going to be talking about making a Sakai upgrade work, a campus. Oh, I don't know why I gave this. Well, anyway, a campus-wide collaborative engagement to increase the adoption of Sakai in teaching and learning. And then Cheryl Brown at University of Cape Town, Salwa Khan at Texas State, and Louisa from Marist will be talking about teaching and learning innovation and the LMS. Louisa, do you want to chat a little bit to us about um, that topic, that session? Give us a little more idea of what you guys are going to be talking about. Okay, while well, we're waiting for, oh, it's an analysis of the winning entries in the Twissian Atlas from 2012 to 2016. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Good. And you'll report on the trends and findings. Excellent. At 2 o'clock on Wednesday, uh, Zerdy is going to be talking about 13 ways to use Zerdy for flipped learning and digital storytelling. Uh, Faye Cross at University of Nottingham and Inga Dunkovert at Zerdy are going to be talking about, those, about that. We have um, a boss for a period of teaching and learning at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. And then uh, Stuart Phillipson at the University of Manchester is going to be talking about large-scale open source lecture capture with OpenCast. 
And Louisa, another session. Wait a minute. No. I don't know. You have a session. You you have a competing session at 2 o'clock on Wednesday. I'm sure you know that. Um, and I really want to come to this one. No, they are not coming to the workshops. <laughs> But it, that's, you know, I think we've talked about that on our calls in the past, and um, it's a, a question that, that we are struggling with at the University of Virginia, and you're the sole presenter. Yeah. Um, so you kind of got to be there. <laughs> so, uh, but that is a great topic, and... Um, can't wait to hear your ideas and and others who are going to be at that session on how they're how you're um, working with that sort of conundrum, if you will. Two o'clock. Also, Sarah McCorkle at Wake Forest and Stephen Wicker at Wake Forest are going to be talking about using the lessons tool in your flipped classroom as a weekly landing pad for students to success. Uh, and also at three o'clock, a new playground for education innovators that the EdTech Services Manager can live with. And Eamon Fitzgerald at the University of Limerick and Diego Del Blanco Oro it from Scriba will be presenting that. Jennifer has a question in the chat to Louisa. Would you be willing to represent some of that, represent <laughs> some of that topic in our calls on Wednesday? I would be really interested in your strategies and findings with faculty workshops. And Louisa says, yes, I will. Glad to share my work. Yeah, that would be great, Louisa. Let's, um, at the conference, maybe we can figure out a date that um, will work for you to do that. That would be really great. Also at 3 o'clock on Wednesday is another Atlas Honorable Mention, another flipped classroom experience using Sakai um, presented by Raul Mongo at University of Politecnica de Valencia. And Juan Carlos Morales will both be presenting on that. And they are using OpenCast in Sakai. Oh, cool. There is another OpenCast session at three, um, OpenCast in the Cloud at Harvard's Division of Continuing Ed. So we'll have some folks from Harvard. How about that? We're using OpenCast, but I'd probably not with Sakai. I'm not sure there's Sakai school. Uh, we have portfolio journey, journeys in the Aperio community. Janet Smith at Three Canoes is going to be talking about um, Karuda in that session. And, you know, there are lots of other sessions. Those are the main ones I saw that uh, were around teaching and learning. Um, and, and, you know, I don't know if you guys want to explore or talk about more about any of these um, or suggest some of these as topics also for upcoming teaching and learning calls, because um, a lot of these would be good, like Luisa's, for sure. Um, but a lot of good sessions. So I'm just curious. I know Dave, unfortunately, is not going to be at the conference. Um, maybe a plus one in the chat to indicate if you're coming to the conference. Oh, Terry, you're, you won't be there either. I'm sorry. Jennifer won't be there. Oh, no. Many of you will, and that's great. So there's a, about seven of us on the call who, who will be there. So great. I look forward to seeing all of you there. Um, so 
I have in the Etherpad, and um, let me paste that URL into the chat again. And again, if you haven't signed up um, as an attendee on Etherpad, please go ahead and do that. Um, oh, good. Somebody's putting in Louisa's faculty workshop presentation. Excellent. In future meetings, that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, some topics. So I don't know if any of you saw the email from Philippe, and I can't remember his last name, about an online course tool they're working on at HEC Montreal. Um, and he mentioned he is going to be at the conference. And uh, I thought that might be an interesting topic for an upcoming meeting. And of course, we can review some sessions um, after the conference and talk about things, you know, it would be, might be nice to do more of a round table and it would be really helpful if people actually um, would enable their mics for that session to um, have some conversation around that. Oh, yeah, Louisa, it is. It is Tengen, that is correct. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but. So, um, yeah, go ahead in that Etherpad chat, and if you have other thoughts around topics for upcoming teaching and learning calls, either from the conference or other things um, that you're interested in. And, of course, um, if you're interested in actually leading a discussion on the call, that's even better. Um, Neil was coordinating an LTI pool. Oh, yes, that's right, Jennifer. And that's right. So we'll have to catch up with him. And um, a lot of people uh, responded to his email about that. And so there's, there's a good list of folks already on that list. So we just need to get it scheduled, really, I think. I'll put that on, on that agenda as well. So other um, announcements or questions uh, from any of you about the conference or anything else that you'd like to talk about? Well, I think we uh, we all have, or many of us have some work to do preparing for the conference. And I appreciate you taking the time to be here today. And uh, it's the, we pretty much run out of um, things to talk about. So I think we're gonna end early today. So unless anybody else has something they want to ask or say, I think we will adjourn. Thank you. Thanks. And looking forward to seeing many of you at the conference.